Talk to the Basque Country. We had some drama yesterday in the finale. Riders getting caught on the wall as Vingago took control of the race. And thankfully, those that did get caught out with riders falling and the skirmish towards the end were sharing some pleasantries at the top of the day, hoping for better luck. And luck was surely something you would need. And a great deal of power as well if you were going to beat Vingago on this sort of course. Well, one that would draw a breakaway for sure, but it was the finale that really worried. A big test, a Category 2 one with a long descent, highly technical, into town. Who on earth would boss that final peak and bring it home? Big question. In the end, up the road, it was to be a high-quality breakaway. Finger go in the yellow jersey, Aramburu in green, Berenetia surely to be in the break in polka dots, and Shalmoz starting off as one of the pre-day favourites. High quality have been our breakaway, and it was no different this time by. Katebo for EF Education Easy Post, who had a big plan for the rest of the day. He was up there. Yosom from Total Energies, Baronetia from Kaya Roral in the polka dot jersey, Tess Fatson from Trek Sagafredo, and Van Hoka from Team DSM, who've had a quiet race. It was starting to get loud, though, for a few, and some were tasting tarmac, unfortunately. Rowan Dennis was to go home on this day, and unfortunately, Grosshartner as well looked like he'd been through the mill. All eyes were on the final intermediate sprint. Who would be up for it? Well, the breakaway were just holding on. It looked like they may well roll over the line for that three, two, and one bonus seconds. They would have been no use to them, ultimately, but very useful for those who are gunning for the overall title. And so it was that we had uh, some brave moves. Jonas Fingergo was certainly going to be amongst them. But where was the Yellow Jersey's teammates? He looked isolated. Well, sometimes just doing it for yourself is enough, and that's precisely what happened. Head to head with Izagiri. Where was Lander, we were asking ourselves at this moment? Three bonus seconds to extend Vingago's lead overall on Lander. Could he get more? Well, EF had posted their ambitions with Kaithebo. We'd heard on team radio as well that it was to be Esteban Chavez that would start the move. This, of course, working for Richard Carapaz ultimately. And it was the big climb to finish the day off. Asturiana and the worst inclines right at the very beginning. We were talking 10, 12 and 14 percent. But it wasn't the yellow shoulders of the Ecuadorian champion Richard Carapaz. It was Vingago that pressed go and sent out an invitation to anyone good enough to come with him. And that man, trailing him overall, Mikkel Lander. How much effort would they put into sharing the duty? Well, Lander wasn't keen to help out. Vingago was helping himself. And behind, there were others that were formulating a, a possibility of closing the gap, but it kept expanding. Heading for the peak with 14.6 kilometers from home, and they were nudging up towards the half minute. Well, Aguita had missed out the day previously after being bumped off the barriers. He was there, so was the blue jersey of the Young Riders classification man in Shelmos. Looking lively, Sudal Quickstep with James Knox. He was in the frame with Catania and Schmidt. But really, Vingago had that finish line in mind. Likewise, Lander. Well, with such a long descent and a technical one into town as well, surely this gap might hold because two riders were posted on the front by Sudal Quickstep and two were absolutely out front, Lander and Vingago. Lander occasionally just misjudging a couple of the corners, which apparently he knew so, so well. Vingago just staying safe on his wheel when he needed to. And then when it came down to the finale, the cat and mousing began. They were checking over their shoulders and the gap was narrowing. It had been 30 seconds, it was down to five at one point. Final corner, only 50 metres from the line. And then the big pickup from Vingago. Lander just could not get back at him. And in the end, it was a bike length between the pair of them. Defining the race, and indeed, the difference between them. 12 seconds now, the margin of advantage for Vingago after taking 10 bonuses at the line, six bonuses at the line for Lander ahead of Mauro Schmidt, Sobrero, Rana McNulty getting up well, Rigoberto around the best place of EF Education Easy Post after all the work that they'd done on this day. Riding the barriers. Vingago checked over his left shoulder first. Nope, he's not there. 
There he is, and just kicked again. A remarkable performance by the man who leads this race. The Great Dane, roaring, and 12 seconds in the lead. He's got 31 on Godot, 33 seconds on both Sobrero and Yoni Zagire. Enric Mas, 36 seconds in arrears. Shelmos at 37, 46 blanketing in the top 10. But who is going to stop Vingago? It doesn't look like anybody. However, the stage wins up for grabs. And you never know in the Basque country. Every day a drama. Looking forward to more tomorrow.